Crystal Stewart is a 36-year-old woman living in Menon, Idaho, weighing 690 pounds, and her life is a struggle that no one understands. There's days where I don't want to get out of bed because of how bad the pain is. I live with my fiance, Damien, and my two daughters. We have lived here with my parents for the last three months. I needed a little extra help. She hates being dependent on her family members for the smallest of things, but there's nothing else she can do. We have to take the shower doors off so I could fit. And it is difficult to shower because I can't reach everywhere that's important to be clean. Because of her weight, Crystal has become extremely embarrassed of her body, and it's had a huge impact on her life. Bacteria just grows, and it causes a very foul odor. I call it the dead body smell. My hip only popped <coughs> 12 times. <laughs> but at this point, it started to affect Crystal's loved ones too, who are concerned about Crystal's extreme eating habits that have caused her to become this way. My doctor says your bones and everything has aged way faster than they should have. It's hard to stop eating because it makes you feel good. It doesn't judge. It's love. Crystal went through a lot in her life to start relying on food for comfort, though. From a very young age, she started using food as a coping mechanism to deal with her parents' toxic relationship. Her weight gain, it started really early. When she started kindergarten, she was about 105 pounds. By 2, 3 o'clock in the morning, you could usually hear my mom and dad fighting and screaming. When I turned to food, it would calm me. But that's not it because Crystal's trauma goes way beyond her family dynamic. Kids were mean to me. They would name call and pick on me. I was walking to school. I got hit by an SUV. The doctor said if I wouldn't have been as big as I was then, more than likely would have been dead right there on the road. You need to stay a bigger size so you will be here. However, when Crystal had her first child, things started getting a little difficult to manage with her own weight and health. After Devin was born, me and Cody actually stayed together for a while. We even got married, but our relationship was never quite healthy. I got together with Faith's dad and we got married but he went looking for love outside the marriage. But now that Crystal has finally found the man of her dreams after kissing a lot of toads, she's ready to turn things around right before she gets married to him. But will it be as easy as it seems? To get help here in Idaho, but it's been always a challenge because they're not equipped to deal with somebody my size. So we were waiting for you. So we could go grocery shopping. grocery shopping. It's hard for Crystal to even walk a couple of steps before her body starts giving up. Okay, Ryan, are you here? One moment. One moment. Feels embarrassing to be out in public. Everybody's staring and it hurts. So it gives me anxiety. The only thing she can find strength for is going out to get groceries two times a month. We have to get steaks, potatoes, cake for dessert, right? Crystal goes around the store, filling her cart up with all the junk food she can find. But being out in public isn't ever easy for her or her family. It really breaks my heart and it hurts me a lot because people are pointing and laughing and taking pictures of her and when she's just trying to get the groceries that she needs to get through it. It makes me feel a little mad, but it also makes me feel a little sad because people shouldn't be staring at my mom. Crystal and everyone around her knows that if she doesn't do something about her weight soon, she won't be around for much longer. Oh, I'm most definitely trapped in my body. I don't know how to break free without having help. It's the first month of Crystal's weight loss journey, and she's having a hard time leaving her kids behind to go and meet Dr. Now, not to mention that the long journey is stressing her out even more. Today, I'm leaving Idaho on a trip to Texas to meet Dr. Nazarian. That's about a 25-hour drive. If I don't get this weight off, then death is around the corner. Only a few hours into the day-long ride, disaster strikes. Crystal and her family have to wait on the road for hours until it's gotten completely dark, waiting for help to arrive. And by the time it does, it's too late for Crystal to get on the road again. So Damien went with the tow truck driver 
Pat, me and Ray are, and Bella are waiting on a new bird to be here. This has been such a long, miserable day. The next day, she begins her journey all over again, this time in a rented vehicle. This is the test of all faith. This is the hardest and craziest trip I've ever taken. I'm not a giver upper, so we're pushing forward still. But all that matters is the fact that her spirit is still up. Thankfully, they manage to arrive at the clinic without any other obstacles, and then it's time for the moment of truth. I know my weight is bad. I just don't know if it's gone up since the last time we checked. I just hope my eating didn't push me up over 700. And it's safe to say that Crystal was not expecting to weigh so much. Still, I'm ashamed of myself. How can I let this happen? I just hope Dr. Now can help me. Finally, the doctor comes in to meet her and let her know what the next steps are. You know, so I can get the bariatric surgeries. If I am to the point where I'm bedridden, I'm gonna give up. You're right that your health is declining. If you stick with a healthy eating habit, you'd be able to lose up to 100 pounds easily in a month. She's ready to stick to the doctor's diet, but the real problem is that she needs to consider moving to Houston for the surgery once it does happen. Because I don't think it's really productive for you to be four days coming to Houston and four days going back. So if you're serious, you need to start working hard now. But the goal I'm going to give you is to lose 80 pounds in two months. The doctor has given Crystal and her family a lot to work on. And while it's overwhelming, they're more than ready to do this. Doctor now is intense, but I know that's what I need right now. And I'm ready to do it. Fast forward to the second month of Crystal's journey, and you have to give it to her for putting her best foot forward, but her love for food still takes over from time to time. My mom will do the exercises in the morning with me. Everybody said they would do the diet with me. None of them have because they say it's harder for them than they thought. I know it's mainly for me, so I'm focusing on what I need to do to lose the weight. By the third month, Crystal is ready to travel all the way to Houston again to see if she's made any progress. I am feeling very nervous right now, hoping that I've made it to my goal weight. And not knowing has been driving me insane. I've been busting my butt to get to where I need for Dr. Now right here. But has she lost enough weight for the doctor to go ahead with her surgery? Good on. <laughs> yeah. And believe it or not, Crystal has managed to lose over 70 pounds. Now it's time to hear what the doctor has to say. I quit almost everything <laughs> that I was eating before. You done a good job. Um, I'm impressed with it. Thank you. So I'm going to improve you for weight loss surgery. But you got to move down to Houston. Thankfully, all she needs to do now is move to Houston and lose just a couple more pounds for the doctor to perform the surgery on her. And by the time you move down here, you've been in 500s and uh, not in the 600s. I hope. With the progress that she made, I am very confident that she's motivated to get that weight loss surgery. But before the surgery, Crystal has an important event to wrap up, her own wedding. Today is the wedding day. Right after I was approved for getting weight loss surgery with Dr. Now, I decided it was time for me to commit to Damien. The weight loss and approval for surgery has given Crystal a boost of confidence and she's ready to turn her life around. Damien, do you receive Crystal as your lawfully wedded wife? I do. Crystal, do you receive Damien as your lawfully wedded husband? I do. You may kiss each other as husband and wife. <laughs> In fact, she even sticks to the diet at her wedding reception, showing just how serious she is about getting healthy. Having pulled pork and fried chicken, and for me, Damien, we get to have grilled chicken on the barbecue grill so we can stick mainly to my diet. But that's when another problem strikes. Once we've committed to move into Houston so I can get weight loss surgery with Dr. Now, my parents told us they wanted to sell the house. We had to move out. So my friend has been letting us stay in their greenhouse. But Crystal is focused. She wants to get to Houston as soon as possible. Well, we found a place in Houston. So it's finally time to move down there. Yeah! 
My sister-in-law Lisa is going to drive us down there while Damien drives the moving truck. And soon enough, she's there, ready to see if she's okay for the surgery. When Dr. Now approved me for surgery, he told me I needed to keep losing weight in order for him to move ahead. And it's been five months. And I'm pretty nervous because I'm pretty sure I haven't lost 100 pounds. So I'm looking for a weight loss of 100 pounds. But it turns out that Crystal hasn't been able to hit the weight goal that she was supposed to. But my main concern is that you didn't lose any weight. But since you didn't gain, I'm going to give you a chance to get back on track. So I'm going to give you a goal to lose 30 pounds in one month. And if you do that, and then we proceed with your weight loss surgery, okay? But things are still salvageable, so the doctor gives her a bit more time to get back on track. And soon enough, she gets right back on it. And I've been working harder than ever to get back on track. And so now we're trying to up our game more with getting exercise and eating exactly to a T. I am feeling pretty good. I'm really sore, but I feel pretty decent. Not only is she controlling her food intake, but she's also making sure to get in a lot of physical activity to lose the pounds. She's able to do things that she wasn't able to a long time ago. I want my surgery done. I'm going to bust my butt no matter what because I got to do it. The commitment she's showing to this surgery is commendable. And finally, it's time to determine whether or not all that effort has paid off. At my last appointment, I was 608 pounds. And the doctor said I should lose at least 30 pounds in a month. I'm so proud of you. You got this. To everyone's relief, Crystal has lost 38 pounds, which is eight more than she needed for the surgery. I'm happy with your progress, so I'm going to set you up for surgery next month. You get to have surgery? Yay! No, I'm excited. However, the doctor now needs to make sure that her heart is strong enough to go through the stress of the procedure. After going through a bunch of tests and continuing her diet for another month, Crystal is finally ready to get the surgery. And this is gonna be a big turning point for me to help me lose the weight faster. And my kids can have the mom that they deserve. You have no idea how much I can't wait for that. Today we are attempting to perform a gastrocy on Crystal. And while the surgery was challenging because of Crystal's weight, it eventually went extremely well. She'll be in a liquid diet for a month where she should be able to lose 25 pounds during that time. But I'm confident she's gonna do it and that she'll be able to live the healthy life she wants. But the journey isn't over yet because Crystal has to continue to take care of her health every step of the way. The liquid diet was hard, but I'm back on solid foods now. I'm able to get around better and I'm trying to walk as much as I can but I'm ready to take on whatever I need to. Crystal continued to lose weight even after her surgery, and it's evident that she started enjoying her life a lot more. And I know that staying on this path is going to be the right path that's going to get us where we want to go, to a happy and healthy future.